fans, how's it going? Welcome to episode three of Lookouts Look In. I am Alex, and we are 119 days away from Lookouts opening day on April 5th, so we're getting more excited by the week. We're excited for you guys to join us today, and we, of course, are very excited to be joined by Lookouts uh, Merchandise Director and Ticket Partnership Manager, Jennifer Crum. Jennifer, how are we doing today? I'm great. How are you, Alex? I am doing really well. So we have you on here to, of course, learn more about you so our fans can uh, ask questions if you guys have any. We'll also be asking uh, Jennifer about uh, her life in baseball and some of the cool things she loves about working for the Lookouts. But we are also here today to, of course, celebrate the holiday season and uh, tell you about what great Christmas and holiday offerings we have uh, here at the Lookouts. Uh, so Jennifer, you brought some great stuff up here today uh, that we have on display. Uh, what are a couple of your favorite things? Gosh, probably, um, well I guess I'll start out by introducing myself and telling you a little bit about me. Um, so this will be my sixth season with the Lookouts. I started in the spring of 2013. Um, six seasons. Yeah, I know, six That's seasons. That's so many. <laughs> I know, it almost feels like, you know, the victory lap after senior year. You've kind of just taken another victory lap. So. Um, but I'm really excited. Um, I took over the merchandise part um, last season. Um, the season before that, we actually went through a rebrand. So it's been kind of fun working with our new colors, the red and the black. Um, I know a lot of you have seen Don't forget it. about gray. Oh, yeah, and gray. Don't Sorry. Don't forget gray. about the beautiful gray. Gray. Um, but we used to be this red and blue color. So um, fans have come back year after year, and they've always asked, well, where'd the blue go? Well, now we're red, black, and gray. So. Um, a couple things, I just brought a few things with me today, um, brought some hats, um, some fun shirts, um, as well as new sweatshirts. Um, and these are all three of these sweatshirts are new? Yeah. So we well, have we got to show them off then here. Yeah, so first one we have just a red regular crew neck. Just, um, no, 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 this isn't oh, just, just a, a red. Regular. Look at this, you have an eyes logo going <laughs> the entire length of, of your torso it. there. <laughs> it's can't miss. Uh, yeah. This is a great, great piece if you really want to show oh, off sure. your your lookout spirit. I mean, and we've all had the experience, Jennifer, where we've been in an airport in Chicago, oh, we've yeah. been uh, at home in North Carolina, wherever we are, yes. and some random person comes up and knows the logo and says, Oh, the Lookouts, that's my favorite logo. So we're really, really blessed to have one of the coolest logos. And this is just something that lets you uh, shout it from the yeah. rooftop. It's also a yeah. beautiful soft fabric oh, there. You got the, the fuzzy yeah. on the inside. Like a fleece line. It's very, very nice. This has been a good addition. Um, we also have... We hope you wouldn't need it at any Lookouts games this no. year. But you <laughs> never know. Maybe a few. <laughs> Maybe a few. We also have um, another crew neck sweatshirt. Um, kind of same concept, a little less large, I guess. Well, <laughs> logo's a little less big, but it um, has the year we were founded in 1885. Um, nice fleece line crew neck as well. Now, yeah. this one here, uh, you know, is very popular right now, especially with sometimes uh, middle aged gentlemen. It can be a little bit. We've got a couple. One of our owners was yeah. here a few weeks ago, saw it, had to have one. Our president uh, absolutely loves his sweatshirts. Yes. Uh, Rich Mazingo so much so that uh, inside our computer system you even named the sweatshirt after him, correct? Yes, I named it the Mazingo because as soon as I designed the sweatshirt, I said this is definitely a Rich Mazingo sweatshirt. Uh, I ran to his office as soon as it came in. I said this is your sweatshirt and it was deemed the Mazingo sweatshirt. So if you have a dad, a father, somebody, this is a great piece for them. And then of course, you know, you can't forget the hoodies, right? Oh, no, no, no. Um, we have just a regular hoodie with our logo. Um, a lot of fans come into our store and um, want something that says Chattanooga Lookouts or Chattanooga. Um, so folks, I think this is a good good standard sweatshirt, um, especially for winter months. And also, I know a lot of times people, you know, you know the college sweatshirts or the pro sweatshirts, when you get the branded, they expect them to be $70, $80. $80. This one, what, $25? Yeah, I think we're $25.99. $25.99. That's a steal. So come on down, pick those up. Now, Jennifer, you mentioned that you uh, last year kind of took over the retail responsibilities uh, with the with the store. What's yeah. been your favorite part about that so far? Uh, probably being creative and um, doing some design work with some T-shirts. Um, one of the cool things about uh, doing minor league baseball retail is you work from newborns that you're selling to essentially like you make a, a onesie 
all the way up to 95, 100 year old people that come to the ballpark. So whether that's a mom shopping for their baby or um, you know someone that's traveling to all the minor league parks, you, you really have a diverse uh, fan base that you're designing for. Um, so you have some folks that like a little bit simpler, but you also have um, the young professionals or uh, folks that are in college that like something um, a little bit more relaxed. Um, and I think what I've liked about it is being really creative about um, you know using play on words. So like this year we did a major look shirt, which I know is Alex's This is my shirt. personal favorite shirt. Anybody who uh, came to games last year could see me about 40% of the games rocking this yeah. shirt. Uh, we have uh, sold a whole bunch of them. We yes. have a few left. We'll get more in. They're super cool. They're super popular. Um, whenever I uh, see some of the park wearing it, I like to think I have something to do with the sale. Um, <laughs> sometimes I bring it up to them and they're just, I'm like, oh, same shirt. And they're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think the design element, um, another fun shirt we did this year was, um, I deemed this the Patagonia shirt. Um, so it has the outline of the ballpark. Um, the in close to Patagonia shirt. Yeah, close to Patagonia <laughs> um, shirt with kind of the Patagonia letters um, and lookouts. So that was really a fun shirt to design. Um, you were so excited about I, this shirt when it came in. She was going around, showed every <laughs> single person on the staff. She's like, look at this, look at this. Yeah, um, another fun shirt. I didn't bring it up here with me. Um, was our alternate logo. So we have our. Um, regular C logo, and then we also have the eyeballs alternate logo, and um, I thought it would be funny to put this on a yellow t-shirt and put a smiley face on it. So just, it's been really Another fun. Another shirt I wore a couple of times yes. on the kids' days. <laughs> yes. Um, so it's been awesome just coming up with new ideas, um, maybe thinking outside the box a little bit, um, getting feedback from people and seeing what they would like to. So yeah, I would say that's of, probably the most fun part. Yeah, what's kind of the process like? How do you basically, I mean, we got a lot of stuff in the store, but that pales in comparison to the amount of options. I mean, right. really what you can buy is only limited by your creativity. So how do you decide? Gosh. Is that a tough one? <laughs> Sometimes you just don't decide and you order it anyway, because then you know it works or it doesn't work. So. This year I was able to kind of figure out trends um, and figure out what the Chattanooga, Chattanooga market likes, but also minor league baseball likes. This was my first time actually ordering merchandise. So I just said, hey, you know what, let's just try it. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, then you know it doesn't work. So Discount for the staff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might end up on a clearance rack if it, if it flops a little bit. But um, no, that's probably been, probably been the most fun. Now the lookouts are uh, are not your first stop in minor league baseball, and not really your first experience in retail either. Um, you know, I know uh, where you started. You uh, kind of started in the retail world a little bit before moving over um, more to the partnership and outing management. So let's learn a little bit about how did you start in minor league baseball, and when did you decide like, yeah, this is this is what I want to do. <laughs> Uh, that's almost like a, a little loaded question, um, um, but I think I took kind of a non-traditional route to get into sports. Um, I went to school at NC State, um, go Pack, for any of my NC State fans watching, or Is this friends, right? Right yeah, right? go Pack. <laughs> um, so I actually went there to become a vet, um, so I was studying to become um, a vet tech or veter veterinary technician, I was really interested in the research part of it. Um, but I also did marching band. Um, one of the things I played what flute. What instrument? Flute? Flute. Um, and then in college I played piccolo. Um, but I told myself I wanted to do marching band. Didn't march in high school. Our high school team did not have a football team. Um, so we did not have a marching band. But I said, hey, I'm going to go and do that anyway. So I tried out, made marching band. Um, and the reason that I did that was because so I could get a free seat to all football games. I didn't have to worry about trying to get tickets. Sounds reasonable. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I don't have to worry about it. I can play my flute or my piccolo, march on the field a little bit, maybe travel so you get to go to some away games. So I thought that was a really big perk. And went to all the football games, did basketball pep bands. So I think I missed like three basketball games my entire time in college, which is crazy. And I just kind of started thinking about like the other side of sports. Like you always see like, oh, okay, there's a game going on, but someone has else? to do all the yeah, work. Yeah, someone has to do all the work. So um, I actually ended up getting a job with the Durham Bulls. Um, hi, Brian, I know you're watching. Um, so I ended up getting a job with him in Durham and in the retail. So I didn't really know that retail was one of the things I was passionate about until I started working with him. 
Um, you get to talk to fans, you get to talk to customers. Um, I really like talking to people face to face. Um, so that gave me the opportunity to do so, it gave me a great sales platform. And then I kind of took that over into sales there, um, sold some groups for a little bit and some tickets and kind of, well, I ended up in Chattanooga somehow. Awesome, and <laughs> so, been here for six years. Been here for six years, so um, love every minute of it. Get to spend our days at Ballpark with our fans and um, it's really, it's been great. And Jennifer, I realized while you were giving that answer, we were so excited to get started and show off some of this stuff and introduce you that I forgot you didn't just come up here with a lot of stuff. You have an early Christmas present and a gift for people yes. that we want to explain to you. Oh, you might yes. have seen it on the screen here. So Jennifer, what do we have going on today? So um, I came to Alex this morning and I said, hey, I kind of have a funny idea. Um, let's do kind of a flash sale. So we are going to do an online flash sale, it's online only, 30% off starting now. So go on lookouts.com, order whatever, you get 30% off anything on our online store if you enter the code FLASHGORDON. So one word, all caps, FLASHGORDON, um, you'll get 30% off online orders now until midnight tonight. So if you have that last minute Christmas shopping, you missed Cyber Monday. Last minute? I haven't even started, <laughs> Carmen. It's only December 6th. This oh, isn't last minute. This is early. Well, early. I guess in Alex's book. Um, so be sure to jump online, lookouts.com, shop, 30% off. We use the code FLASHGORDON um, upon checkout. And we'll get that shipped out to you ASAP. So... 30% off. Flash Gordon Explains sale. Flash Gordon. Yes, of course. Uh, homage to uh, Nick Gordon, who yes. is the son of Flash Gordon, known as Flash uh, the Third. His brother, of course, D. Gordon, played with us, uh, and uh, he was Flash Junior. So it's kind of a fun little thing. 30% off team store. Flash Gordon is the code. All one word, cap letters. So yeah, that explains a little bit about. <laughs> I need a little bit of coffee and just beautiful oh, yes. uh, lookouts mugs. These are something really cool. This is a great, uh, I feel like this is a great office gift. If there's someone in your office that you need to get a gift oh, for, yeah, you get to see it every day uh, once they're using it and get that little satisfaction that your gift is being uh, put to use. I like this one because it's all kind of chromed out. Yeah, there. I like that one. It's you shiny. Can, you can kind of <laughs> see yourself in it. Oh, sort yeah, of. for sure. For sure. That's, that one's a good one. That one's really good. All righty. Well, <laughs> I was just putting it back. Just putting it back here. So, and, and I mean, these are some of my personal favorites here. This is our on-field, uh, this is our home hat here, the all red. But you just, in my opinion, can't really get any better than this because it's exactly what the players wear on the field. Yeah. Um, literally, when a new player comes to town, our clubhouse manager, Nick, he comes down to Jennifer and he'll pull the hats he needs right off of the rack. So if you have, you know, especially great for kids, teenagers, young adults, super popular with, if you want to give them something that's exactly like the players wear, we have the uh, alternate, the home, and then the red and black one as well. Mm -hmm. These are uh, super cool. You really can't get any better. High quality, super awesome hats, reasonably priced, especially when you Absolutely. compare them to other teams. Yeah, <laughs> can't go wrong. I think we have a question. We have a question. We have a question <laughs> from Nick. Jennifer, what is your favorite item you sell in the store? Oh man, that's like picking a favorite kid. Like, I don't, I don't know. Um, favorite item, um, honestly, easy, probably just an adjustable cap. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. It's good for, if you're, especially if you're buying gifts or buying for somebody else and you don't know their size, um, you can get an adjustable size. Such a so, practical answer. Yeah, I know, it's kind of like, probably uneventful, but I honestly think that's probably the the we best have, product. How many different types of adjustable hats do we have in the store? Oh man, I would say probably over 40. Over it 40. Has to be over 40. I mean, we have your basic hat here in yeah. khaki and black and red, yeah. other colors. We also tried something funky this year with some snapbacks and the mesh backing. That's been also really own popular. one of those. Yeah. I realize I own about half the stuff <laughs> up here. That's not that's not a bad thing, Alex. That's really not a bad thing. <laughs> Um, so probably just an adjustable cap. You really can't go wrong. You don't have to know the size. Um, it's just when somebody's looking for something, that's probably the first place I take them is adjustable caps. It's just your baseball. So. And I, I certainly know what my nephew is getting from me uh, this year. We have this oh, wonderful yes. little Louie. I don't want to touch him because he's kind of balanced <laughs> up here. But these Louie dolls, we got those in last year. Those have become popular. 
but with kids, especially with a little kid who loves coming to the lookouts, what could be better than opening that up on Christmas morning? Oh, for sure. Yeah, this, these guys have been popular this year, so be sure to pick up a Louie doll. Another question. Another question, Another question. Dan. This one from Craig, kind of for both of you. Have you guys ever thought of doing a promotion for a fan design t-shirt contest? Whoa. That, that sounds like a, like a good idea. Really good idea. <laughs> Um, no, we haven't thought about it. Thanks, Craig. I think that would be Hold really on, let me, cool. I'm going to go uh, write, can we write that down, Dan? We're going to write that down. But no, that's a cool idea. That Do you know, really has cool. anyone done that? I haven't heard of anybody doing that. Um, I don't see why we couldn't do that. Um, I think that would be really interesting. I'd say, I'd say we do it. Stay but. tuned for that. Yeah. That's actually a really cool that's idea, really cool Craig. Idea. And we got another one. Another question from Leslie. Uh, does the Mozingo sweatshirt come in any other colors? Currently, no. It just comes in the gray color. Um, again, kind of the thing we were going back to earlier is we're trying to see if it would succeed, and if it does succeed, then we'll get more of them. So, um, so yes, if it does well in the gray, then we might explore some other colors. Um, I know the red on red is really popular, so we might go with that for an extra round. So, good question. Now, not only, we want to touch real quick, not only do we have great merchandise that would make uh, anyone on your uh, holiday list uh, happy this year, we also have some special uh, ticket packages and something that's super cool that we just launched today, or announced today, I guess I should say. So, Jennifer, what are a couple of the other things um, that we have special going on today for the holidays? Sure. Um, so, we have two major things going on right now. Our first promotion is our holiday special um, with our mini plans. Um, so for y'all that don't know, we have seven, 14, and 21 game mini plans. Um, we know that being a season ticket holder, coming to 70 games, that's a lot. That's a lot during the summertime. So we've kind of cut that down a little bit and offering the seven, 14, and 21 game plans. Um, a seven game plan starts at $56, so it's super affordable. And that's for lower box seating. For I mean, you can seats. sit seven rows away from the field for seven games for $56. Yeah, it's, it's a steal, honestly. Um, so we're running the holiday special right now, so for every two mini plans you purchase, you get a $20 gift card um, that you can use in the team store, you can use it in the concession right. stand. Um, you did you approve that, Jennifer? Yes, I did. Um, <laughs> Kind of a little little arm and pull there, but um, but yes, it's been really successful, and we've had really good feedback from our fans that they really like it. So we this is year two that we're doing this holiday special. So um, so definitely jump on that. Too many plans, twenty bucks anywhere in the ballpark can't beat it. So definitely jump on that. Um, the second holiday plan that we just rolled out today is our Santagrams. <laughs> our Santagrams. Santagrams. That sounds so exciting. <laughs> What is it, Joe? I'm just already excited. <laughs> um, so we have two packages for, for our Santa Grams. The first is our Elf package. Um, the package is $49. It comes with four tickets to opening day. Um, April 5th, 2018. Yes. <laughs> um, and then an awesome Lookouts beanie. This These beanie right here. Awesome. Fleece line. It's a little chilly awesome. up here. So <laughs> it's a little chilly. chilly. Um, and then also a um, travel mug. So for just 49 bucks, um, you can get that package. And then um, our second option is our Rudolph package. So instead of the four opening day tickets, you actually get a mini plan. So it's a seven game mini plan. Um, the package is $69, but you also get the beanie and the travel mug with that package as well. So for more details or to book one, definitely visit lookouts.com. And, and of course, call, the so. very best part of this is on December 20th and 21st, oh, yes. our world famous Louie the Lookout will deliver that Santa Graham holiday Christmas package in person uh, to the uh, person that you have purchased that for. So whether it be your son or daughter, someone you work with, wherever, Louie's going to be out and around uh, with a Santa hat on and full holiday spirits, uh, handing those out, much like if anyone has been involved with our Louie Graham deliveries oh, yeah. that we do around Valentine's Day when Louie makes stops all over Chattanooga. We're trying that out with Louie's Santa Grams. So yes, visit Lookouts.com for more info. Uh, those uh, spaces are limited because Louie, uh, you know, is he's, uh, busy. He's, he's a fast guy, but he can only be in so many places <laughs> in one day. So head to Lookouts.com for more information about that. I'd be anxious to see how he gets like the Santa hat on his head because he has such a big head. So yeah, maybe we'll have to make we'll a have video. To custom, yeah, yeah, a custom uh, Santa hat or something. <laughs> awesome. Now, Jennifer, 
we've talked here, we've had Andrew uh, and Rich have been on the, uh, the program here, and we've talked about uh, Chattanooga, and with Rich we talked about how much it's changed, and Andrew just said how much he likes it, but I think of, of everyone here at the staff who really loves living in Chattanooga, <laughs> You might kind of be on a different level. You were really excited about living in this city. You say it's a, it's a really cool place. Why do you love living in Chattanooga? And what is a couple of your favorite things uh, to do oh, or about? Is yeah. that a tough one? That might be a tough one too. Um, Chattanooga has just been really great. Um, before I moved here, I couldn't pick it out on a map. Um, I've passed a sign for Chattanooga before. <laughs> um, before I moved here and um, when I did it, the town literally gave me a giant hug. Like, a, it's just, it's been unreal. The community's been amazing. Um, the outdoor, like, you can pretty much do anything outdoor here, um, outdoors here, um, ride bikes, go hiking. Um, it's just been really great. I was, I was telling somebody earlier today, if I don't go to the walking bridge probably once a week, I feel like I'm just not doing Chattanooga. <laughs> I think that's my favorite spot in town too and yeah. I know uh, a couple of times we have actually crossed paths yes. running uh, on Chattanooga yes. and I learned quickly because the first time I was actually running the same direction and I came up to try to say hi and I think poor Jennifer almost had a heart attack so now I like come around yeah. and uh, kind of let her do the her thing. wave from the side kind of thing. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with running and the bridge has definitely softened the hate part of the of running so um, I just love downtown the feel um, it's just it's really great I mean even coming to the ballpark in the summer and having people come from out of town and tell you how great Chattanooga is it, it just definitely gives you some warm fuzzies on the inside so um, it's just been a really great place to live and I'm excited to stay here and find out more about Chattanooga so <laughs> awesome and then my last question here if anybody else has any final questions for Jennifer my last question with the uh, Christmas and holiday season coming up uh, were there any crumb family traditions that were super cool oh, yeah um, yes we have um, some from a very small town in North Carolina um, called Bahama which is north of Durham um, and we have probably like two stop signs in our town like you that's basically Bahama. Um, no stoplights. There's a post office, so that's... that's no stoplights. No stoplights. Um, so it's very, very small rural community, and every year they host a Christmas parade. And um, it's normally like the second weekend in December, normally, um, but this year uh, it actually is next weekend. So this is like the first time I get to go home and see the Christmas parade. You're going for it? I'm going for it um, in probably four or five years. So I'm really stoked. Um, it's probably like an hour and a half long parade. It's like the only parade that throws out candy in, in like the Raleigh-Durham area because um, candy got banned for some reason. and. So they have like so, an exemption for the Christmas parade? Yeah, I guess for this one. So um, you go, you take, I take a Santa hat and I literally like just pick up candy. It's the and you will be doing this now as an adult? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've like turned this into like my whole family comes for it because um, we all spend Christmas apart. So like my entire family comes for it. We walk from my parents' house down to the parade route. It's just, it's great fun times. It's. Oh, if everybody could experience the Bahama Christmas Parade, uh, oh my gosh, that would be amazing. So. Well, that is, uh, that's super <laughs> awesome. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us. This stuff is so awesome. I know, I mean, the branded, licensed team merchandise, I mean, especially when you have like younger kids who might not be super excited about getting clothes for Christmas or that, it's a good way to get them some clothes oh, that they're going to sure. be excited about. I mean, from the ages of about 8 to 12, I think my favorite Christmas presents, or really any present, was any Seattle Mariners, Ken Griffey Jr. branded <laughs> stuff that I got. I oh, had yeah. my whole room was outfitted. I was a little bit obsessed with uh, Ken Griffey Jr. as a kid. Uh, still have in my room at home, or what was my room at home is my Ken Griffey Jr. trash can, uh, Seattle Mariners. So <laughs> this stuff, kids love it. Everyone loves it. It's super cool. Uh, we've got, uh, as we mentioned here, just a little wrap-up, couple news and notes for the lookouts. But we did uh, have our holiday mini plant Christmas special going on. Now until December 22nd, you can buy for every two, seven, 14, or 21 game mini plants. You'll get a $20 Lookouts gift card. So that can either be a little add-on for...
for the gift if you're giving it to somebody, or if it was me, I'd buy the mini plans, keep the $20 gift card for myself, and let them go out and enjoy the games. I like the Grinch. But we will send, if you're buying it for a gift, we have, uh, do you call me the Grinch? Just because I kept my, my, my $20, $20 gift card. card. Um, but we'll have a, a certificate that we will send out to you uh, if you're buying that as a gift, and then they can simply just call in or stop by after the holidays to pick their specific games. They can pick any of our 70 games. We also have our Santa Grams going on right now. So those delivery dates will be December 20th and 21st from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Visit lookouts.com for more information. Two great packages to choose from, and it will be hand-delivered by Louis the Lookout himself. So that's a super awesome thing. Our team store is open uh, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5 uh, during this time of year. We also have our Toys for Tots uh, box in there, and that is going on. So if you have Toys for Tots uh, toys or want to get involved, you can stop by the team store and drop those off. And for you helping out a family in need, uh, we're going to give you a free ticket for opening day for your toy donation. So that's a super cool thing. Uh, we got our group's uh, tickets on sale. We've got season tickets, mini plans. All that great stuff. You can call Jennifer. She'll take great care of us. And of course, visit Lookouts.com for uh, all your details. And remember, until midnight tonight, our Flash Gordon sale, 30% off in the Lookouts team store. You can go to Lookouts.com. It's right up there in the top right-hand corner. Hit Shop and everything there, 30% off with the code Flash Gordon. Jennifer, thank you so much. Oh, you got it. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Uh, we're going to be back next week with another edition of Lookouts Look In. Again, next Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Details on what we'll have going on for that one. But it's going to be a fun one. We think you will like. So thanks for watching. Dan, thank you. Man behind the camera, as always. Have a great day, Lookouts fans. We'll see you next time.